Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on how to orient a layer to a path in After Effects. I come from a Flash background, and one of my favorite features is creating a motion guide and drawing my own path for my elements to travel along. It's great for animating natural things like fish and butterflies if you want them to fly around in an interesting sort of curvy way. And keyframing something like that is much more difficult. You can see here that I've got some footage of a fish. It's just a PNG in a white composition. If I want to orient this to a path, I can create one in an application like Illustrator. You can see I've just drawn a spiral here. If I select it and hit Command C or Control C on the PC to copy it, then jump back into After Effects. I can apply this to the position parameter. So if I press P for position and click on that position parameter, and that's really important. You have to click on it in order for this to work. I can then do Command V or Control C on the PC to paste that path onto the position parameter. And you can see that After Effects has created all of these keyframes for us. And if we play our animation through, a fish will gradually travel along that path. It really is as easy as that. There's a couple of other options that you can use. Now you can see the fish is traveling along this path, but it's not changing its rotation as it spins around, which looks a little bit awkward. So there's a quick and easy way to do that. If we right click on our fish PNG, so not on the position, on the actual layer itself, and go to transform, there's a little option at the bottom called Auto Orient. If we click that, it'll ask us, do we want it to be off or do we want it to orient along the path? I'm going to choose Orient Along Path and click OK. So we can see now that the fish rotates along with the path. It uses the curvature of the path to determine the orientation of the fish. Really nice and simple. And because these are automatically generated keyframes, if I decide that I want this animation to last for five seconds instead of two, I can just pull it along to the end and it'll expand all of these other keyframes and just make the animation much longer. So these are kind of automatically generated keyframes, whereas the beginning and end are ones that you can edit. So let's press zero. You can see now it spins around a lot more slowly. So there you go, that's orienting to a path. It's really nice and simple. Have a go yourself, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find out more about my self-published books, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book, and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike, and are well worth checking out.